All right, let's guess we can hit these weekly charts. Hey, Selena, did you write those OBs now? Yes, sir. You want me to call them out or you want me to show my sure, screen real be, quick? What you want? That would be awesome. You said what? You want me to call them out or what you want me to do? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So there is a bullish, I'll write and put them in the chat, but there's a bullish um, order, I'm sorry, a bearish order block on AU and then the rest oh. of them are bullish order block. Oh, yeah, because all you, all you got to do is call out the pair. AU for, is the first one. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, sir. Brr, brr. Two in a row, two bears in a row. Um, this might be prime a prime candidate for that E Z uh, money. First, I'm gonna look at this Dixie real fast. The Dixie broke structure to the upside. I'd like to see it pull back before it goes up. Um, it doesn't look like it's ready to pull back on the four hour or the two hour. I suspect when the market opens, this is probably gonna keep running. So at some point, probably tonight, maybe at this level, it'll turn around. Maybe it, maybe it breaks that level. Um, and that's probably going to coincide with this uh, AU pair pushing to the upside. All right, this is our golden zone. The 78 is gonna be somewhere up here. Um, I think that uh, this is probably gonna push down until the dollar turns around. And then when the dollar turns around, there, there will more than likely be an opportunity to buy this up. And uh, I would buy it up just to uh, sell it down. All right, let me go down to the two hour and see if I can get it better. View. Okay, this uh, golden zone, you can see there's a uh, imbalance here and an order block. So this area more than likely would be a, a decent area. If it passes this area, there's another imbalance way up here. Like I'll just put a, a box around it. But again, the uh, move would be to buy it up just for the uh, for the sell down. I know I have this position tool right here, but that doesn't mean that this is where I'm going to buy. I think it's going to push down because the dollar is going to push down. I mean, the dollar's still pushing up. Maybe it'll give us a double bottom. Maybe it'll push down here to where we can get in. Um, you know, the the deeper it pushes down, the better it'll be for us when we buy it up. Okay. Any questions on that? No, that's awesome. What's the next one, Selena? Next one is Chef JPY. All righty, this along with a lot of the other JPY pairs 
should push up. I mean, this, I have this uh, tool. Oh, Jesus. I have the tool placed on there, but that, that high is just kind of a, a random spot that I selected. A lot of these JPY pairs are in uncharted territory. Um, so really we would just kind of have to monitor those on the way up since we're uncharted. Of course, we have some recent highs that we can maybe select for profit taking, like this one. Uh, I'm not, there's no way I would get in this trade and take profit right here, but you know, some of y'all might. Some of y'all with that uh that bad psychology would take a take profit right there. <laughs> but um <clears throat> definitely opportunity in this trade. And you know, if it gets higher than these two, then that's kind of the bonus round. So maybe you maybe you will take you know uh a significant portion of your profit right here at this high and just let it run and see how high will, how the rest of the trade will run. Any questions on that one? Did you have CAD JPY, Selena? Because it's the same thing. No, I don't have CAD JPY. Well, you should. It's a weekly order block. It's not a weekly order block, sir. Uh, is a doji candy uh, candle considered? Let me see. Yeah, but the reason why I didn't consider it is because it was below the body of the uh, of the candle. What's below the body? We'll make it bigger. This is okay. Dump. It is the it's below. It doesn't engulf. Sweet Lord, uh, for anybody who's watching, this is definitely an order block. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is order block. Doji candle, push up. We want it to push down and then push up. But basically, it's the same scenario. If you want to take your profits off right here. You have the opportunity to do so. Any questions on okay, JPY? <laughs> uh, EA. I'm looking for EA, but I don't have it on my list for whatever reason. Mm, mm, mm. Shame on you. No, I mean on the well, it hasn't been an order block in a while. It's been bull crap. This was this, it had, on the top? this had a significant move. What'd you say? Elfie? I thought I saw it on the top of your list. If you Elfie, don't be giving him props. Let me see. No, he, say, he thinks it's not on his list, but it's way up there. There you go. You Where? should have let him think it wasn't on there. I still don't see. I, I still don't see EJ. <laughs> right, on, right. Okay, go back up. One more. Go down. One of your green flags, the third one. This is EA. Oh, Didn't you say that, EA? No, EJ. I did. Oh, you say, oh, I thought you said EJ. That's what I was looking for. I said EA. Okay. EJ is one too, but yeah, EA I misunderstood what you said. But anyhow, um, here's a tricky one, guys. So um, if you're going to trade this particular one, uh, I, I don't like this as a bullish order block. Um, but if you're going to trade this, if you're waiting for the buy, I definitely suggest taking the sale first. Um, <clears throat> I think there's a high likelihood that uh, that this just keeps selling. Um, I don't like the way for the last one, two, three, four weeks it's just been, you know, malingering. I don't like the uh, fundamentals behind the euro. I believe they have a lot of challenges. Now they could definitely get them figured out, but. Um, if you're going to take this trade, if you want to buy the euro, definitely sell this first uh, and don't close your sale out until it actually starts to buy and it breaks structure, you know, maybe even on the four hour, you know what I'm saying? Um, just be careful, you know, if you're thinking about taking uh, EJ, okay? Any questions? Awesome, awesome. This is going great today, guys.
DC. Hold up, man. How come this ain't showing up? You just in EJ. What are you talking about? How come I can't put it on my on my watch list? Because it means it's already over there. You're just missing it. Okay. EA, you said cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is a bullish order block. Uh, I know I have this uh, profit target way up here, you know, to this order block, but, you know, a more realistic view. Uh, we have to pass this bearish order block, which I think that we'll probably do. Um, but, you know, I can't ignore this order block area or the fact that it's at the, uh, the moving averages, okay? So um, what I anticipate is to get some rejection at, at these moving averages. Uh, I put a take profit line, you know, it might not get this high, maybe it gets a little bit lower, but if you're gonna trade this pair, um, I definitely suggest get, getting in, like set you an alert for when it drops, I'm expecting it to pull back, you know, and I think that this is probably a trade that you don't want to be late to enter. Um, so if it pulls back, the 78 would be right around here. Um, so definitely, I need to move my alert up. So I would definitely be prepared to enter around here before it starts going up. That'll give you, uh, I guess, a maximum pip count for this for this trade. You know, if it gets to that line, it's about two hundred and fifty pips. It's why I like trading the uh, Euro Aussie or the British pound Aussie. Uh, any questions on this trade? No preguntas. I still don't see EJ. Cool. You're okay. All these Euro pairs are supposed to be going out, huh? Mm -hmm. They're all bullish for the box. Mm -hmm. They could all change with some bad news. <laughs> no, serious. Mm -hmm. The Euro is under extreme pressure. I like this as a stop run. Um, what I don't like is that crazy pullback though. I wish this was EA, but uh, anyway, this is a daily order block. Candle push down a little bit. The 78.6 is right here, which is the anticipated target for this pullback. Uh, it coincides with these moving averages, which is a good sign. So I would like to see it come and get a bounce and push up. Um, this is another one of those trades that if you're gonna take, um, Bro, man, is suggesting that you take this trade early. Uh, it hasn't broken the 200 moving average. Okay, this is kind of a key, a key level, right? Um, that determines whether this is a buy or a sell, right? Uh, the ideal entry would have been as it broke up. You had a lot of room to run to this moving average, but since it tested the moving average, now it's pulling back. It's either going to double top up here or you know semi double top and push down or it will break the moving average and, and i want to see the candle close above this high uh, 
Then when it gives us a pullback, that'll be the optimal time to enter the trade. But if you're going to enter based off this weekly order block, uh, I do believe we are going to get another test of the same area that it came from. So there's nothing wrong with taking the trade from here back up to the same level. It's just that when it gets to that level, um, you might have to be a little trigger happy in order to keep your profits. And this is probably, it's 180 pips. It's hard to argue with taking that trade. Hard, um, that's right. Well, but you just you just have to make sure you manage it, you know? Like, yeah. don't get in there and forget. Uh, you definitely need a hedge on that one because I could see it dropping lower and going into that other order block. Well, that, that's a possibility too. Um, but this pullback right here was about a 50% pullback. So. Um, if it does drop further, I would kind of be surprised, but I mean, it is what it is. It wouldn't be the first time I've been surprised. His trades always, always protect me. So, you know, uh, that's, that's why I do it. Uh, I, I've had so many great trades because of the hedge that, um, you know, I don't use stop losses. <laughs> I mean, I'll use a stop loss if I'm in profit and I want to stop a trade out in profit. That's cool. But uh, if I'm going to get into a position, it's always going to be a hedge. As a matter of fact, uh, Friday on the US 30, I won a huge trade on US 30. Not, not because it went the direction that I, I originally was trading it. I was trading it up. And uh, at some point it turned around on me. And I was out and about, but I had a hedge. And uh, those two hedge, the hedge position and the, and the additional position that I had set in case it sold actually made a, a heck of a lot more money than my buy position did. So uh, just goes to show you that sometimes um, your stop losses stop you out the trade and it would have stopped me out and I would have made like 30 bucks. But because of the hedge, you know, it was more like 800. So, and it was a very small account. So, you know, if you don't know how to hedge, it comes highly recommended, highly, highly recommended. Okay, I, I really like this trade um, this week. <laughs> uh, so what's, okay, so. Okay, go ahead, go ahead and complain. You no, know, I was, huh? no, I'm not gonna complain. I'm just saying, I, I see you, you reason why it's the same as the one is, uh, your NZD, how it tapped into an order block from a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah. um, but so, your ND, NZD is buying, but I get it. Right. So I, th this is the importance of us trading uh, with a backstop. You know, like this, this was an order block two weeks ago. Uh, price didn't violate it. It tapped in and it's pushing down. And he, this is a primary uh, example of what I mean when I say we can't control the time right? We can't say how long it should take for the price to push down. But if you look at the, the trade setup, this order block told us that it was, the price was going to push down. Didn't guarantee us, um, you know, a time frame for that push. But if you go to the monthly chart, right? You go to this monthly chart, this monthly chart rejected the supply zone, right? Mm -hmm. It came up it tested the moving average. So if you throw a fib on this monthly, this weekly could come back to the 78.6. See that? Which sets up perfectly, you know, uh, with our trade idea here. Maybe it just comes down to this order block, pushes back up from there. Um, we're just kind of in the right place at the right time, allowing the trade to develop, right? This is just utilizing, um, I guess, our long-term vision, if you will, uh, to, <clears throat> to take a trade idea uh, that, that looks like it's playing out. Does everybody see that? 
And does everybody understand why I would even consider this? Yes. So would you enter at that blue line or at that 12 hour eight, I mean, order block or? Which blue line? This line? Mm -hmm. Well, if you think about this, price never came back and tapped that blue line. And here's something that I, that I, I kind of take notice of. Whenever my, my order block is above my moving averages, right? Mm -hmm. um, this, this is a very hard call, right? Uh, if you look at this tap in, let me zoom in so everybody can see. This is precision. You, you see, if, if I had my entry a couple of weeks ago or, or you know, last week, if I had my entry at the 12 hour order block, it taps right in. This is an Oliver Velez uh, concept here. He doesn't trade order blocks. But if you bear with me, you have the your moving averages, both nine and 13, but I could I can change, I can hide the nine and I can change this 13 to a 20. This is a 20 period moving average. And we have the market in a narrow state, right? Which means you got the 200 moving average, you got the 20 below it, you got price all right here together. So if you had taken this trade, since we all we, we already knew that this is a bearish order block, <clears throat> the market is in a tight state. If you had taken this trade based off that concept, um, and we missed it, which is cool, you're gonna miss some trades. But if you had taken that trade on Friday, instantly you're up 43 pips, right? Because this trade, uh, because this trade is at the 200, it's not entirely impossible. You know, it crossed the 200, it retested the 200. It pushed down. Now it might pull back, you know, in one of these areas, right? Uh, I'm not interested in, in moving my stop from this trade. I would just watch the trade to see if it pulls back to fill the imbalances on this wick, right? If I drop down to the two hour, it's still a wick. So I would need to drop down maybe to the 15 minute. But you, you get to see the areas that might need filling, right? There's, there's an imbalance right here. Uh, and I think that's about Another it. Wick on the 15. What's that? Another wick right here. Another wick on the 15. No, look at the one to the right. Where the five is? Isn't a big that a green wick? wick? Yeah. Mm. This one? No. no look to your, towards yeah. where the five is on the background, the 15. Oh, you is see that? that? I don't, is that a wick? Mm -hmm. I guess yeah. it is. Wow. I don't think we're going uh, that high. I think if we were going this high, this price would have already pushed up. This was that 12 hour tap in from, uh, this was the price tapping into that, to that higher time frame, 12 hour order block, mm -hmm. right? So if you look at the rest of these, these wicks, right? You get a tap in right here, you get another tap in right here, you get a lower high. Yes. Price pushes down. So. If I'm taking this trade and it goes past these highs, then to me, um, it's not a good trade idea. There, there's an imbalance here. There's one, two, three, four order blocks, five order blocks. If it breaks five order blocks, um, it's a bad trade. So really, I can move this stop loss down some to, to maybe, th maybe this area right here. And this just so happens to be the golden zone. So if this trade goes past the golden zone, it's a bad trade idea. I, I look for another entry. And if, if it's at the 78.6, um, geez, man, I got to drop all the way down to the two minute. See, I, I'm not interested. I'm not, I wouldn't take this. I would wait for it to break structure because I don't go way down to the one minute. I'm not trading the US 30. This is a currency pair. But if it violates, my trade idea, 
um, at that time frame, I'll be hedged anyway, but I would just look for uh, another entry once it breaks the 15 minute structure at the 78.6, does that make sense? That may not work for you guys as far as your strategy, but that's how I do it. Um, if it violates all of these order blocks up here on the five minute and it goes to the 78.6, I'm gonna be hedged anyway. I'll be at a 1% loss, um, but I won't add another sell position until on a 15 minute chart, I get a break of structure to the downside. Once it retests, then I can enter me another sell position and I can start killing the buy position that, that was my hedge. Any questions on that? <clears throat> Y'all are doing awesome today. You're swallowing your question. I have a question. <laughs> Do what? I don't know if you answered it. Where would you? <laughs> <laughs> what was your question? I don't know what you answered. Like, where would you enter? Well, right there. I, I told you. It, um, okay. By dropping down, it would be probably in one of these areas, right? Um, again, there were like there were there were a bunch of order blocks right there on the five. It was five order blocks in a row on the five minute chart. Okay, uh, but so anywhere from here, anywhere in, in this in this red area, I'm fine with an entry. And I don't I don't subscribe to y'all's to you alls sniper entry bullcrap. That's a 25 pip zone that I don't care where I enter or where you enter. You know, like if, if you get me in the trade anywhere in this 25 pip zone, I'm cool with it. And if this trade does what I think it's going to do, how many pips is this? I don't even know because it's freaking... Uh, I'll just do it the old way. You give me 129 pips to work with, I'll, I'll get four entries in this trade and I can make, I can make 10%. But if you give me four entries in this trade, I will, and, and with my 50K account, I'm gonna make 15K. I'm just telling you. Um, and I like the setup. I like the setup because it's Ruby's head and shoulders is on here. Uh, I just like the setup because we have back-to-back -back order blocks. We have lower highs. I love the setup. Any questions? Any more questions? Are y'all lying? I think y'all lying to me. Any more sense? Any more sense? All right. Uh, what else, Selena? I'm about to say, what you doing? Um, like did you do you're okay? Like you order black too, but you don't have. But uh, you're okay. We already talked about this garbage. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, we talked about it. All right, then Euro Chef. I'm just gonna glaze over all the winners. Okay. I mean, we can talk about GF if you're there. I mean, yes, it had that bearish order block from eight eight. What about Euro NZD? That's I, that's one of my favorites for the week. I saw 770 some tips of loveliness. Well, you know, I think you're way, way ahead. I mean, uh -huh. I'm not going to say we're going to all get it in a week, but I'm just saying it's potential to do that. Sir. Well, what is it contingent on? Hmm? What is it contingent on? What, going to 770 some tips? Yeah. The news. What news? Any news about the war? They got, they got more than war issues. They got a lot of issues over there, man. And gas. Yeah, y'all got gas. It ain't from eating beans, but you know, y'all got gas issues. 
uh, <laughs> they, uh, you know, if, if I understand everything correctly, y'all folks just introduced a bill, like a 65 billion with a B dollar bill, that's supposed to relieve a little pressure, right? Are you familiar with that effort? Hey y'all, we got a we got a German over there that ain't paying attention, man. She just she just along for the ride. So. <laughs> yeah, we, we, gonna, we gonna need you to watch a little bit of the news, just a little bit. So it's supposed to relieve the gas um, issue. Where are they gonna get it from? I mean, what are they doing? What is the bill um, doing? Uh, well, I guess they're they're doing something with their tax money to pay for the elevated gas prices and keep it away from the businesses and the citizens. I don't know. Um, I don't understand all the intricacies of it, but uh, if if it's looked at as favorably, um, I believe the, these prices will, will keep climbing. And as long as they're still gonna raise the interest rates, I don't think there, there'll be an issue with raising the interest rates, um, but you know, really we need to pay attention to this OPEC meeting that's coming mm. up, you know? Um, yeah. I like the trade idea, I, I, you know, I do. Uh, I even did the fit from here to here and there's an order block right here that I expect the price to turn and, turn and run on. But uh, this, mm -hmm. another, if you're trading the Euro pairs, man, I, you know, I can't really stress this enough. Your, your early entries uh, will save you, you know, in case there's a price reversal because at least you'll have uh, your stop loss, either at break even or in a profit by the time we get a little news. You know, the U.S. banks are closed. So the European pairs are, are going to be the, the important pairs that you can kind of get a head start this week by trading those to the upside. Um, everything about yeah, it's this, okay at holiday too. Sorry. Yeah. But everything about this pair to me lines up, you know. Um, from the levels, right? We broke these highs over here finally. You know, we have higher lows. Everything says it's going up. You know, we get a retest. That's basically what we're getting right now. This is a retest. So if you're gonna take this trade, you're gonna take this trade like tonight, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and you're gonna be in the trade as it pushes up. And maybe, uh, when is that OPEC meeting? Is it all week or? or uh, all day. Tuesday or is it Monday? I just had it up. It's, it's all day Monday. Nope. Starts tomorrow. All day. So if as long as we don't get any news out of that meeting, like maybe tonight it'll push up. I don't know. Uh, but we want to be in that initial push so we can move our stop losses. <laughs> you know, because if somebody says something stupid at that OPEC meeting, uh, it could all just change, you know, uh, with the energy issues. Um I, I think I am going to be in, in EN. I, I like EN. Um, I like the structure and I like the setup, right? Um, this candle closed below the moving average. So we need this next daily candle to close. I like it to close above the moving average, right? Because I want, I want to believe that this is a test of the 200 moving average and it'll keep going higher. And this is where we want to be. If this, if this test is successful, then we can take this trade. Um, you know, up to this level, to the negative 27 at least. I think, you know, on a, on a little, little bit more aggressively, I think we can take it up here to this imbalance. As long as we don't get no crazy news. So, um, any questions on this, on the setup? Why wouldn't you enter at the 78? If it goes to the 78, I, I definitely would. Um, I don't know that it's gonna push down first. You know, uh, this is just me guessing um, where it's going to push. If it pushes down, I mean, obviously that's cool. Uh, 
you know, maybe maybe it will. Is that a, is that an imbalance? No, it's not an imbalance. So there's there's no no imbalances down here. There is an imbalance here though. You know what I'm saying? That that mm -hmm. this price kind of pushed down to this wick wick below this price. So it might, in fact, just kind of fill this wick and push up. So maybe my entry is a little bit too low. Um, we're just kind of going to have to play this uh, by ear. I put the entry at the at equal lows for this wick. Um, there's nothing really left to accomplish on the chart. You know, y'all understand what I mean by left to accomplish? Let me drop down to the 15 minute and see if there's something. The 15 minute is showing me that I'm not looking at. Okay, on the 15 minute, there is an imbalance here. I think it's below the 78. It's way down. So yeah, I'm not looking at that. There is one here too. There's an imbalance on the daily as well. I don't know if you had that one marked up. Or, well, yeah, at the 78? Um, I think so. I don't think so. And then there's one right at the line. Right below, like you see that one that you just don't know. Yeah, hold on. Know. I'm, trying to see. I'm trying to see the number on the, so that's the 100. Right here. Yeah, I think that one. Mm -hmm. There's one here. Now we just have to see if. So you, we'll just have to see if price um, pushes down, which I'm not 100% sure. Um, price is kind of in no man's land, but uh, on this 15 minute chart, price broke this low and broke this high. So maybe maybe it won't even come down here. I, we'll, we'll just have to look, we'll have to wait and see. Um, Hey, Selena, Sean is on, on the call. He said he stood you up. He said he stood you up. For the, <laughs> he's, a, <laughs> he's a non dependable dude. But anyway, what? what uh, <laughs> I'm not dependable when it's 109. Thank you, Sean. I don't even want to go outside. Ms. Hill, you were just, Hill. You were just telling me how much of a how much of a, a, a butthole he was. Now you say, you I say. was not. I did not. You're so full of crap, Todd. <laughs> hey, it was a it's a buck oh nine yesterday. Man. It's ninety five now, and it's only eight forty two. I'm said, like, God, said, uh, Lee. Lena told me it might have been a hot, but your phone didn't still should have worked. He did call me yesterday. And so you wasn't coming. No, I didn't come to say I wasn't coming. You know, I should have, but she yet. <laughs> I thought I understand. I thought, I thought Selena Kevin. All right, this uh I think we 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 still in this or I I'll, I'll look for uh another entry in this joint. It should be about right for the pickets. Cat Chef, how you all over the place. Uh, yeah, I am. We because you this is this is why who else forgot about this trade? No, I'm just saying I'm trying to see how long ago was this order block. This is why um, we as traders can't make our money. Um, we didn't talk about this that long ago. And this is why I told you, you got to write stuff down and make notes on your chart. This pair was not based on your, your order blocks. Okay. It was based on a case study that we did. 
Mm. Oh, you're right. You're right. Mm. You're right. Mm. Mm. So right. are you trading to, to, to grow your account or are you just trading every week at, at an order block? I mean, we, we have to, we can't ignore what we see. Price broke this level. It came back and retested. Now it's pushing up. If you've been in this trade from when we first identified it as a buy before any order block ever came up, came about, you're up in this trade. Mm -hmm. You're up by 88 pips. I got out that in my first. Well, I, I, I know y'all did, but it, you know, this is a <clears throat> so if you want to hold these trades, I mean, the trade is going to go way up here somewhere. Um, I'm going to get back in, but when I'm like bleeding, I'm getting out. Man. Maybe you need to go with a 0 0.01. I did. Yeah. Down like a hundred dollars. You know, it's like you went down a hundred bucks. The trade, the trade never even down a lot. You were, back. You, you were never close to a hundred bucks. Okay. Third. <clears throat> Eddie! <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm with Selena, man. Hey, hey, I gotta be like, 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 like they do the doctor stuff. Hey, you gotta be mixed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's my check. I outrank yo ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shoot, man. All right, USD cap, we broke this structure. Um, the dollar should pull back. I know this is not a, an active order block, but since we were trading the dollar, I want everybody to see it from the higher time frame. <clears throat> if you go to the weekly chart, you're looking for a pullback and retest of, of these highs that we recently broke. Now, all you got to do is you can throw a fib on this weekly candle. That's cool. Um, your 78.6 is right at this level, which will be an optimal trading entry. Um, I would definitely sell it down, you know, when the dollar starts selling. Remember, it's a holiday tomorrow, so the banks aren't going to be trading. The U.S. banks aren't, so the price might not move properly. If you enter a U.S. trade tomorrow, make sure you... Uh, I would use a fraction of what I would normally use to trade, right? In case it moves funky. But uh, it should push down, you know, and if it doesn't push down Monday, maybe Tuesday, it'll push, it'll, it'll push down first. And then we anticipate that it'll buy back up. Um, since it never touched this order block, maybe we'll get a deeper retracement. into this order block area, right? Maybe maybe the retracement will be from these three candles and not just that one candle, okay? So again, I would sell it, right? Um, if I'm looking for the buy, I would sell it down and then buy it. You know, uh, that's a natural hedge. Uh, it, I know this is not a daily order block, a daily sale order block, but if you, well, actually it is. So it is a natural hedge. So definitely sell this down if you're if you're looking to buy the trade up, everybody's tracking. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. What's the next one, Selena? That's good, Selena. That's awesome. I can't hear you. What you talking about? You can't hear me. Can y'all hear Selena? I, I can hear her now. I, I heard that. Selena said, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What's <laughs> 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 the next What's the next trade? Um Euro JPY. Not not GBP, is it? Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll look I at mean, you. we can do that one too. Okay. Oh, thanks, Lynn. She said uh, GN is the next trade idea. Oh, my God. Like, dude. What? What am I doing? Um, this, is, this is a trade that, that Kenya has called to my attention yesterday. I, I really like it. 
Who do you think is gonna? Do you think it's gonna trade? What do you? Think? Mm. I think it's gonna buy up and then sell down. Mm. You don't like it? Fifteen minutes says it's going up. You got a lot. I agree with that on the fifteen minute, but I don't the, know. The weekly Go back suggest, to the fifteen minute. Hold on. The weekly suggests that after running three hundred pips, it needs to take a breather because she's a runner. Can she's you a, squeeze that in so we can see? I said, she's a runner, she's a track star. 349 pips last week. Easy money. Terrence, if you're listening, don't be like your sister. 349 pips last week, you're gonna get a good retracement. Explain that you know you know your sister don't like money. If you throw it at her, she's gonna throw it back. Either that or throw it at Aaron. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I can't win no, for losing with y'all. God, <laughs> hey man. Hey, 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 somewhere somewhere Aaron is like, uh yes. <laughs> That's about 160 pips. I, I can see it retraced. Thank you, Felicia. I'm like, dang, am I on here by myself? Where Aaron? He was on here. <laughs> he, he left as soon as he knew he's he checking his cash out right now. Aaron said, I'm not getting my shirt for that crack. He left to check his cash out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me text Aaron and tell him uh, his money is in jeopardy because I don't see him. Right? Because he was on here. <clears throat> What are we supposed well, to do? I really like this trade. Um, I think I think we can we can really. Uh, I'm not following. Could you explain? Because I'm I'm not trying to. My be God. Okay, Eric, I'm glad you said that, Selena. All right, this is for the people in the black back, especially Selena, because she's in the back today. All right, and that's okay. The back of the bus works. Listen, it, when, whenever you see the market run. This week it ran 524 pips. You see it ran 524 pips? The next week mm -hmm. it, it, it gave you back half those pips. Yep, tapped into that or block. Week, see this you week it pushed down and ran back up. This week it just pushed down. It's going to go back up. If you look at this on the lower time. Wait, line, can you pause right there? Jesus. Can you pause? Don't go any yes. further on the weekly. Okay. So it's like. It's playing with that order block to the left. Okay. Um, so in my mind, I, okay, can retrace back up. I can see it retracing back up to that order block. Okay, go ahead. Did we not say we're buying? I don't like your tone. Did we miss? <laughs> did we miss the part when we say we're buying? Buy? I don't buy. like your tone. So check this out. Woo. Claude, we broke these lows, right? We, we want a retracement, which we kind of got here. This fought back up and it touched these highs. Maybe this retracement, right? It, it touched these highs, it made a lower low, right? It, it still didn't break this low, but it made a lower low. So maybe this retracement just retraces and retest the four hour level. This is a four hour. If you go to the four hour chart, this is a four hour break of structure. So maybe you're just going to retest this four hour level. But what if we buy it and get lucky and it comes way up here? Right? We have to trade what's on our charts. We didn't break the four hour low, but we broke these lows. So what I would like Are to. Are you talking, Todd? Is my search signal bad? Sweet Lord. Hey, somebody. Uh, I can hear you. So I guess he, somebody take the party out of Selena's room. Take the alcohol out of Selena's hand, y'all. Tell her she is on his own car. Sean, did you hear your brother talking? <laughs> no, nah, he went out. Did I go Thank out? Thank you. Yeah, you went out. Yes. Well, hey, y'all take the alcohol from Selena so she can pay attention. <laughs> 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 we know you're in Vegas. Hey, but it's Sunday. Hey, you know, where, where are you going home? Tonight. Hey, we know it's your sister's birthday, but God, no. I go home tonight. Oh, okay. Selena, where are y'all going today? 
to, we're going to go to Caesars because my sister want to go to the Gucci store. That's not my league. And then I'm going to do zip lining over here on Fremont by myself because nobody don't want to do it with me. Sean said he'll do the zip lining with you. Not in that weather. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but on the Fremont, it's shaded. It's in that yeah, where it's, they it's got covered. that over. It's covered. It's covered. So yeah. instead of 110, it'll be 105. You know, yeah, hopefully, exactly. hopefully everybody's wearing their deodorant out there. Uh, I mean, oh. it's just it's too it's too hot for it's too hot to be outside i get a headache my throat sore i mean it's i this heat is unbearable i don't see how people live out here Where is like, it's unbearable Leander, do you hear these what did, what did she call y'all i thought we was in phoenix this yesterday awesome oh yeah y'all y'all cats off the chain anyway guys we're not boomers we just really y'all are, y'all are definitely y'all are definitely boomers but Kyle, you don't go outside when you hear you at some crap table well, hey, I got to go outside to get to the crap table. So listen. Well, heck, anybody can walk outside for five minutes. Hey, this is a retracement, guys, to the uh, this over 100 pips available to you. Make your 15,000 on this move right here. Recommend. This comes highly recommended. Highly, highly recommended. So, Todd, if I may. Oh, sweet Lord. For those in the back, right? So if I'm looking at this on this four hour, right? If you go to the left, I see the expansion where well, it went up. Um, so it looked like it already tapped to the it exhausted. Well, it went tapped into that order block for that expansion. So I don't see it selling. I see it buying. So what is this right here? What are you trying to Listen, sell over here? It's going to buy back up. That's what I think that's it's going to buy seeing. a lot higher. Then well, what you got it. If if it goes higher, then we consider ourselves lucky. That that's fine. But I'm just saying, but, what was that sale I, I, position I, 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 on the I, 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 Let me finish. Hour. You ask a question. You ask a question for the people oh. in the back. The people in the back won't be able to understand if you if you try to over talk me. So we're buying. This is still, this is still a sale. This is still a sale on the weekly level. This right here is an order block. So how dare you disrespect this weekly order block? Don't do I it. I don't disrespect it. Don't I don't consider it. it as an order block because so the listen, body of the can, next maybe it buys can higher. touch the it body of the if first you're buying counter. higher, consider yourself blessed. Don't expect it to buy higher. Don't do that. Take your trade up. Take what you can get. But do not expect for this to buy up. It broke these lows. It's telling you that it's going to keep dropping. We don't know how high. This is a counter trend trade. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Do you understand that, Selena? This yes, I know what a counter trend trade, trend trade is. This right here is a, 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 the other daily order block. This saying the selling. Why? Where do you think you're going to buy this trade to? Higher than I was this? looking at the four hour chart that you were on, Let's sir. Speak. Yeah, because that's. Go um, I'm going to the four hour. So now you, you're saying you're going to buy it higher than this four hour order block? Now you've had a weekly sell order block. A daily sale order block and this four hour order block. So you want to buy this higher than these order blocks? No, I think it could buy back up to that order block. But like I said, you got a sale position on the four hour and that threw me okay. off. Like it's got if, to if, buy up first. So if, if anybody, if anybody heard me when I started this <laughs> call, I said, whenever you try to enter a trade above your moving averages, a lot of times you don't get that. Price already tapped into your order block here. Do not lose your trade because you're greedy. Greedy. You don't need to be greedy. Get in the trade for the buy. Take it as high as it goes. But don't, don't go to sleep expecting this to keep moving because that's not what these order blocks are. Don't ignore what the order blocks are telling you. They're telling you to sell it. If it blasts through here, that's cool. We're in the trade. But if you're Can going you to sleep at night, night, if you're going to sleep at night and you're in a buy and you're in profit, you better move your stop loss way up here. Don't be a fool because this is an order block. The daily order block says sell. You're in a weekly order block. Everything says sell. So the, the profitable trader, the, the trader that cares about their money, they're gonna they're gonna put a stop loss on their buy order and maybe have a sell stop for when they're asleep the trade can pick them up and keep pushing. Y'all understand that? I don't know why this throws 
anybody off. But but what would you, you say, Selena? Nothing. Can you squeeze it in just for a little bit? <laughs> good luck. Good luck. Okay, so for me, and that's just, and I, that's why I ask questions because you can help me understand. For me, I would be scared to get in this for a buy until it broke structure, till it broke that buy. Right, buy? Because it sell. No, I, I wouldn't get in this at all right now because I'm not sure where it's gonna go. That's just I'm just telling you from what I'm thinking, so you can hey, correct me I, if I'm wrong. Listen, no, no, you're you're not wrong. If you're not comfortable taking this trade, don't don't take the trade. But do you understand Honestly, what I'm saying, though? I don't. I don't. I think everything about this setup. For for me, how many confirmations do you need to enter the trade? Pull out your rules and tell me how many confirmations do you need? I don't have my rule book with me. <laughs> oh, you still we got a problem. All right. Um, <laughs> y'all, I mean, y'all have to decide for yourselves the confirmations you need. I feel you, Todd. I was just saying, for me, I just felt like if it broke structure to the downside, I would feel more. I don't know. Don't well, let me ask you a question. It. Have you ever have you ever taken an easy money trade? Yes, I have. Based on what? Based on the easy money trade, I just take based on that long candle, and I just mm. do a fib on it, and it let it expect it to buy back up. That's how I do the easy money trade. Oh, so so. So, so humor me, humor me. Share your screen. Go to go to GN. Oh my God! Please. I'm just asking you to do this. Mm -hmm. Mass shoot over Where's Mason at? I don't know. Probably pissing on the floor somewhere. Hey, Mason. Mason. Hey. Go, go to the weekly. GN weekly. Yeah. Yeah. Show me the easy money, girl. Show me the easy, show me what you would do if you were taking the easy money. May. May. May, May was ready to go for a ride, but. I got the BMW pulled out. I ain't, I ain't put them in it yet. So you got my shit sitting in that sun? Baking like a sun gun, huh? It's 86 degrees here. May. Mm, mm, mm. It ain't really baking tough. I, I only moved it out to do my do my leg workout. But I put it back, I put it back in. You know, May thought we was going for a ride. But it didn't happen because I went up at 4, 4 a.m. Uh, that's when he's used to going for his, his ride. Well, no, I, I, I couldn't do it this morning, so whatever. Hey, Selena, I know you're not taking that trade way up there for that easy money. Oh, hey, hey, everybody, just for the record, Selena is showing me where she would take an easy money trade. Can you mark that out for me, please? I just did. Well, can you put a line there so you can tell the tell the group where you would buy that trade to? Uh, you don't see my my long tool. Can you, can you place a ray right there, please, just for the group's edification, please? Okay, your signal is horrible today, sir. No, it's it's been like but this. Since that's Sean's house. I'm not gonna. It's something you doing. I don't think it's anything that Sean is doing. Oh, oh but, hey, Sean. I tell you, this this thing was 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 jacked up yesterday. Or when was that? What day was that, Sean? I think it was the day before yesterday. Yeah, they said they said the Xfinity tower burned down because it was because of the heat. I believe it. Xfinity is trash anyway. I have it at home. Can you can you delete the uh, fib? I don't know. The people at home don't want to see your nasty looking fib. It's kind of it's an eyesore. We just want to see the line. Did you? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, can you? Write that number down and tell the people you would buy it to where? To the 89867? 
Did you get that, Felicia? Your homegirl says she would buy this to the one eight nine eight six seven. Yes, I heard her loud and clear. Can you drop down to the four hour, the four hour chart, please. I already know where this is going. Uh, I know it's going. It's getting really bad. It really is going to get really bad for me. Why? I, I just want to see I, it down to four hours. You dug yourself in a hole, Selena. It's okay though. It's all right. I did. I know. But he said the easy money strategy. So it's oh. just I just filled that one candle. Oh. Oh, and it's still pretty. Oh, but we're, looks, we're, oh. we're still buying it. I think it's what tires. Oh, oh. you still you're buying it to the exact. <laughs> what I bought. Well, can you can you say <laughs> where you were, where, where you're buying this to, please? I just said it, but I'm just saying. Okay. First of all, you said we shouldn't be using the easy money strategy because of since the war oh, it hasn't they, been they, working. They don't, don't try to distract the people at home. And then he stopped sharing my screen, Felicia. Like the <laughs> just, just for the people at home. Just for the people at home. My entry uh, to sell it is back where back you're buying it to. Is one eight seven or one eight nine seven three? What, what was your take, Prophet Slim? One eight nine eight, something like that. Eight six seven. What are we talking about, dude? Why? What are we talking about? Oh, God. What are we talking about? Okie dokie. Let's move along. We want to keep the meeting till an hour. It's twelve oh four. Hey y'all, y'all. Hey man, Jesus, take the wheel. Felicia, what are y'all doing? Yeah, I take Selena's drink. Uh, man. Um, I'm not you with got Selena. To make me go get one. <laughs> That's exactly about oh, what about you. God. You got to make me go do. Oh yeah, yeah you can't leave her to drink, Todd. Don't do that. I will say, if you get one, you better not go zip line. <laughs> <laughs> that might be rough. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God! I can't. I can't. Y'all are off the chain. Did Did you have this one right here, Selena? Um, nope, because I didn't have it oh. as a weekly order block. Oh. Oh. This is kind of along the same lines of uh of that other one. We got that daily junk going on, y'all. Plenty of opportunity with a little silver. Plenty of opportunity. Todd, when you come back out here, you need to go to Barry's. Okay, I'm done. But go ahead. I don't know. It's gonna have me discombobulated like you are. I just can't do it. I don't know what, what berries is. Don't go to berries, y'all. Gold is the same thing uh, if you're looking to hop in these commodities. Um, I think that uh, because the, the U.S. market is closed, gold might be a little slow. I don't, I don't really know. I've never traded gold on a holiday, so I, I, I don't recommend doing it. But whenever this does start buying, um, I think it's a pretty good chance that you can get, you can buy it back up to 1752, which would be pretty significant. Um, so I would I would suggest either gold or silver trade going up as soon as the dollar starts selling. Can you look at the DAX, please? I would, but the police just got on here. The police just sent me a message. Thank you, Elfie. <laughs> Elfie, say, look at what she asked you to look at and keep it moving. Elfie, the the, <laughs> the, the police just sent me a message that I got to keep the Zoom call too. And then, uh, the police wouldn't be woke, would they? By any <laughs> the police are woke like a lot. <laughs> Popos, the Popos, be honest. <laughs> the police said, shut up, Sean. Shut up. <laughs> shut up, Sean. Shut up, Marcus. Uh, Good morning. Top of the morning from Great Britain or from Las Vegas to Great Britain. <laughs> oh, Elfie. I don't I don't really like this chart on a high a higher time frame. Um I'm biased for the buy though. This is kind of the same uh setup that we had. You know, I think this is just a 78% pullback myself. Buy up to where though? Well, probably about a thousand to two thousand, <laughs> about a couple of thousand pips. I, I think this is a land of opportunity. I don't know what catalyst. I mean, maybe your catalyst will be that that uh that energy relief. 
but I, you know, I have it going way up here. It's, it's a lot to take care of. Um, if you go back to this weekly chart, when we had this, there's a lot, there's a lot of things to take care of up here. Now, I don't think that this will happen this week. I think that over the next few weeks um, that we can buy up. So if I were you, if I were just taking a long, I would look to trade it to 200 period moving average. Of course, you're going to get a bounce from these order blocks, but I think the first target would be this, well, actually this order block and then this order block. So I don't know how long it would take to get there. So maybe you would put a, a take profit here. If you're swinging this, most people aren't going to swing it, but these two spots, you know, as it as it touches these order blocks, you're going to get reaction. I do feel like in the long run, it's going to run back up to the to this level. I think the uh, the same thing for the U.S. indices. Oh, okay. I think the U.S. indices are going to run up until until they get that hundred point rate hike. <laughs> the pile is going to slap up because. I think Americans just like buying stuff. Just my two cents, Elfin. Okay, thank you. But just wait, wait for the wait for the the chart to line up with the analysis. You can't just go and buy it. I'm you already gotta, in. You already in it for the buy. Yes. <laughs> How far down are you? She buy it up. up. Yeah, because it the fifteen minute hit buy, but. You know, if, if she, Elfie, she might want to. Elfie's quick on her trigger, man, because it ain't even broke the structure. <laughs> you know, I was, set a limit on. I think it was on Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't remember. Oh, and it came and got it. About it, and it came and got me. And when I saw it yesterday, I was up. Oh, I well, had your business, girl. That that was a a great entry there, and you you got you you based okay, your my entry was. 1265 7.6. And it had to be based off of this pullback, right? I think so. Can you mark it real quick just so I can see that? Because I think this pullback. What, what did you say it was? 12 what? It was 12 Sixty-five, seven, point six. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was a good entry, and it was it had to be based off of this pullback. What hour are the one? I can't remember which one. Yeah, make that money, Elvin. It's demo money. I know. It's still it's still money, 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 <laughs> and and it's still going to go up. You got a lot of imbalance to take care of too. Mm. Like the trade. Go, Elfie, go. Selena would I have never. I like that one. Max is my friend now. Yeah. All right, Elfie. Selena would have never taken this trade. Hey, there was a mass shooting in Virginia. Are you serious? No, 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 no bad news. What part? No bad news. No bad news on Where? the Falcons. Norfolk State. Oh. Are you serious? That's HBCU. I am so they're, surprised. They're not invincible. <laughs> it happened. Oh, come on, Felicia. You know we don't do stuff like this. I'm just what? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'm confused. <laughs> Selena, what about the DC sniper back in the day? That motherfucker had me hide behind gas pump. <laughs> You know, we were all shocked when we found out. And at the was. time, I knew, I knew he wasn't a brother at the time. <laughs> we all thought that. That's what I'm saying. This is rare for us to do this. I mean, let's not act new about these. Anyway, we recording. Hush, Selena. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go ahead. The next audio of business. The next audio of business. What else did you have, Selena? Um, sir, the next one is she got us all over the place. Um, did you do NZDJPY? No. 
NZD Jappy. All right, y'all see the analysis is going to sell back down. And we think it'll break this high. Selena, do you agree with this? Let me look. I'm only asking you because this is the same exact setup. <laughs> it going in the opposite direction is, is the one that we had argument about, GA. Yes, I agree. I, the, I concur. The, the exact same. So um, I think in the long range, I think, yes, I think in the short term range, you know what, Ty, I'm going to stop talking because everything. Right, I I, I'm just saying this is the exact same. <laughs> <laughs> you see how, how it has this funny looking doji and this long candle that doesn't break the, the highs? So let me explain something with you. What? Stop! Oh my God! What in GA? What was the GN? What? There's a that Doji. Look at that Doji, Todd. That it's Doji. Insane. It is it's not just... engulfed by that body. If you go back to the one you that you was just on, it is it's engulfed. Not, it's not engulfed by what body? This body? The doji candle is not engulfed by that body. Correct. That's this why I is engulfed by this. The body. body of the doji candle is not engulfed. That's Selena. why I didn't consider Selena. it an order Selena. block. Selena, it is. It's past the sale is past this body. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I can't, it, it doesn't look the same as NCDJPY. You can slice it, dice it, smack it, rub it down, flip it. Oh no, it's not the same. <laughs> that is why we can't win trades consistently because this is the exact same. So. <laughs> but this, is in, in this one is engulfed by the green candle. Come it on is, now. I mean, I'm not trying to be funny, crazy. but it is. So listen huh? to what I'm saying. Okay, let's talk about how candles open and close. All right. Okay. And right, this I'm candle, right it's a cell candle, so it closed at the bottom here. The next candle right. had to open up right next to it, and it bought up right. mm -hmm. GBP NZD. This candle opens up right here. It sells all the way down. It closes here. Where does the next candle have to open up, Celine? Okay, yeah, you're right. Next okay. to it. And it okay. sells. Same kind of setup. If you take this and I flip believe. it, you got the same stuff. I believe. So if you're gonna take this trade, right? You can you can be a boomer and you can wait until it sells down. You can watch it sell 115 pips and then you can buy it back up, or you can make your money both ways. I'll leave that up to you. Oh crap. Any questions? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're since we're, I was Wait, gonna, hold on. I was, huh? Can you go back to the last chart, please? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, so I, I was going to go over the US 30, but we are out of time. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> next week, join us and we'll go over. We'll try to get through these pair in a more timely manner. <laughs> oh my God, Ty, you're so stupid. And we'll it was a lot of, it was a lot of order blocks today. Well, I think one of the, uh, one of the members couldn't couldn't fathom a trade setup, so we had to spend like thirty minutes uh, getting her squared up. Um, the U.S. thirty has pushed up; it's pulled back; it's hit our zone. We expect the U.S. thirty to continue to push to the north. Right? It gave us a daily bullish order block, but don't be suckered into that. I believe it's gonna fly. Gonna buy up, push down. Remember the banks. Why are we looking at US 30 when the banks are closed? 
This was a beautiful trace. I don't know. And I caught. It's still gonna move though. Huh? But it's still gonna move. It is gonna move, but you know, a lot of people won't trade this when the banks on it because it, it might move sporadically. You know, uh, I would personally rather just trade the DAX and save myself some monies, right? Um, but hey, that's on you guys. On the fifteen-minute chart, it broke these lows, which would would uh tell us that uh it's probably going to go lower, lower, lower. Right, we broke these lows. I would look for price to push back up to this level. You know, it would be nice if we go and close these imbalances way up here, but I think it's at least going to push to this level before it pushes uh, lower. Um, I do think that the the, uh, the U.S. thirty um, is probably going to start pushing lower because I think people are coming to grips that we're about to get the Fed interest rate hike. I don't think that can be ignored at this point. Like we've been trying to ignore the fact that uh that the Fed has been talking gangster. But I think with the last jobs report, they know the Fed really should be raising the interest rate 100 basis points, in my opinion. That's just my two cents. Um, at some point, maybe, and maybe, at some point soon, maybe it'll come back up here and tap into this order block, but it, it's, it's going to sell. I don't think that there's any question that uh, the US 30 is going to start pushing back down, uh, especially the closer we get to uh, the 23rd, which is the, the rate hike day. Well, this I'm, chart I'm not trading this. Go up. Uh, huh? This chart suggests it's supposed to go up. Well, yeah, I think, it, I think it will go up eventually, but I think it's going to push further down in this block first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the 21st is, is the rate hike? I thought it was 23rd. Hey, uh, my, my woke advisor told me that the rate hike is indeed the 21st, okay? Uh, this chalk scenario should play out. Um, it's it can it can reverse at any point from here, you know, any point in time. Why would I be on my, my own on the rate hike? All righty. Anybody else asking all those questions? Um, sir, Kim said that she can um, edit your uh, chart. She just couldn't talk right now, but she can't edit the video. Tell Kim I said thanks. Uh, continue to, to do whatever she's doing in the quiet. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is that she's doing. <laughs> She's making that money. Did you tell me? Did you tell me to shut up? Is that what I heard you say? No. Did you uh, shut up? No, Stay quiet. I, I, thought you, no, I, I heard you. I heard you. I said it was. I thought you, was, I thought you might be doing doing something. Something. Uh huh. Never tell secrets, I thought you. Oh my god. Thanks, Todd. Y'all have one. I thought you might have somebody calling over there, girl. You got <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. Can, can I, had I had a client. I had a client. Can you share the details Thank you. Of the client is? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no. We want to know. I know because you because you know, see. We want to know the client. Okay. <laughs> don't tell us Apple. <laughs> don't, don't let us find out. <laughs> Who is the client? You know. Might be money back. Is it money back? Nobody. Nobody special. You know she got to sign them MDA. Is, is it Waikisha? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said who? So this, <laughs> this is what I this is what I think right here. Break structures to the top, break structures to the bottom, come up here and sell down. Yeah, I agree. Uh, um 
I don't know how far it's going to sell, so I'm just going to keep this take profit kind of cozy. I think uh, <laughs> I think Leandra likes this trade set up to you. I won't be partaking in, in this trade idea. Just let y'all know. It's not enough pips. This looks a lot like the indices, huh, Sean? Mm -hmm. It trades in conjunction with them. It's correlated. Yeah, it can be Corey Lele. It's going to push down to my area. I can't wait till it gets here because I'm going to celebrate. Might have to go to Vegas and get me a bottle like Selena. Get on technical analysis. <laughs> whatever, dude. Just like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Uh, You chef, I think we're waiting on a pullback from you chef, and then it pushing higher too. Um, does anybody have any questions over anything that we've discussed? You know, I like. What is your favorite for the week? That's my question. If I was over talked, I like GN. No, uh, I'll probably be trading. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Ian, you know, I, I'm interested in those. I also like AED Cat. So uh, we'll see. I like silver and gold, um, even though we have a US holiday, so I probably won't be in those trades. If there's still a good setup for Tuesday, I, I might trade one of the silver or gold. Um, but if it moves, if it moves during the holiday, it's gonna mess my entry up, I think. But if it just chills out tomorrow and it's still in that same area, I will look to buy uh, silver and or go. <laughs> Any questions? Any comments? Okay, uh, this has been about an hour and a half Zoom call. Um, I, I try to keep these to an hour. I, I'm not really worried about the technical analysis being over an hour because you know, everybody should do their own anyway. And if they're interested in, in what I have to say, sometimes it's gonna take more than an hour. There's a lot of pairs that we look at. Um, <clears throat> but I'll tell you another one that I, that I like guys is uh, I like EJ for the sale. I think that, the, that I'll pull EJ's chart back up. I think that even if this buys up, there's plenty of room to sell it down first. And then if something goes wrong with that, with their, their plan for gas, it'll just keep selling. So if you sell this down to the order block, if it goes down to the order block, it's like 200 pips. So I will be looking at that tonight as well. Any questions? Any questions? All right, good folk. I appreciate the uh, the comedy today. 